Hi, everybody. I think I'm on unmute now. I'm Ulster, of course, having gone to the University of Ulster. Um, I do know some of you guys. I had you in classes. Um, I am very happy that um, for those of you that replied, you did reflect back on what you um, have done and you did look forward because I was always really rubbish at it, but setting goals and reflecting is actually pretty important. Um, and I want to give you an example. I found this, I'm going to show it to you briefly. It says senior goals. It belongs to someone I live with. She actually wrote some that involved things like get drunk, um, break into the swamp, um, paint the 34th street wall. Those all have checks. Work on British accents she didn't achieve and walk in heels she didn't achieve. But she wrote 10 countries she wanted to visit and made them all by 23 years old. I myself, when the crust was cooling and the dinosaurs were dying off, was also asked to write three things down. And I found them when I was 27 years old. The first thing I wrote as a goal, this is, I wrote these as an undergraduate, was be around people who were good fun. And I was severely um, administ administ admonished about this because it was too vague. It was not measurable. It had no deadline and it wasn't work related. But every day I wonder about, do I uh, find myself around people that are good fun? And I think I'm quite glad I didn't define good fun because good fun people may be quite different at my age now. Um, number two, work outside. That's all I wrote. And there was a point in my life when I worked as a planner and most of it was inside and I kind of retold my life. And the last one, I'm happy to say by 27, I had achieved and I have achieved now. And it was get a dog. So you don't have to write anything very profound, but think about what you want to do. And, um, and one of them is kill that clock in this house um, and write something down and have a look at it in years to come, put it away in an envelope somewhere. So those are my words to you and go Gators.